Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most talked about tactical strike weapons on modern battlefields, the MGM-148 TACMS. This isn't a fighter jet, it's a ground-launched, surface-to-surface strike missile that changed how armies think about deep fires, precision shaping of the battlefield, and long-reach deterrence. ATACMS Army Tactical Missile System started life as a way to give core and division-level commanders the ability to hit high-value, time-sensitive targets well behind the forward line. Built by Lockheed Martin for the U.S. Army, these missiles ride on the same mobile launchers used for the MLRS family, meaning they're highly mobile, can shoot and scoot, and integrate into existing rocket artillery units. That combination of mobility, range and precision was a game-changer. At a glance, what makes ATACMS notable is its mission profile. It's designed to strike targets deep inside enemy territory, command centers, logistics hubs, air defenses, bridges, and concentrations of forces, in support of maneuver units or to shape an enemy's decision space before a larger operation. Instead of relying on aircraft to deliver those long-range strikes, commanders can call on ground-based fires that are quicker to react and less dependent on air superiority. There are several variants of ATACMS, evolved over decades to meet different tactical needs. Early versions focused on area effects, delivering many submunitions to cover an area target. Later variants moved toward unitary warheads and improved guidance for precision strikes against single-point targets. Over time the weapon has seen upgrades in guidance technology and reliability, reflecting the broader trend in missile systems from area saturation to surgical precision. One of ATACMS, strengths is integration. Launchers are crewed by artillery units already familiar with MLRS operations, fire control and target designation tie into standard army command and control networks, and the weapon can be coordinated alongside air and naval fires. That makes it a flexible tool, used for interdiction, suppression of enemy air defenses, or simply denying an adversary the freedom to operate in a key zone. But like any weapon, ATACMS has trade-offs. It's a strategic asset at the tactical level, which makes its use politically and operationally sensitive. Employing such long-range strike missiles can escalate a conflict, especially if strikes are perceived as attacking critical infrastructure or deep national assets. Logistically, the missiles and their support require secure supply chains, maintenance, and careful target vetting. And because they're high-value munitions, commanders must be selective in how and when they're used to get the most impact. ATACMS has seen real-world use in several conflicts, demonstrating both its deterrent value and battlefield effectiveness. When used decisively, it can blunt an opponent's tempo by taking out key nodes and forcing them to disperse or relocate. Its psychological effect, the knowledge that rear areas are not safe, is often as important as the physical damage it causes. Looking ahead, the role filled by ATACMS continues to be important even as new technologies emerge. Hypersonics, drones, and long-range precision artillery are all changing the fire's landscape. Yet the core requirement, the ability to deliver accurate, timely effects at operational depth from the ground, remains. Systems that can do that while integrating into a broader joint fire's architecture will stay relevant. So what should you remember? ATACMS is less about raw destructive power and more about reach, precision, and operational impact. It extended the reach of ground forces, gave commanders another option besides airstrikes, and forced adversaries to plan for threats far from the front line. It's a classic example of how a single weapons system can shift doctrine, tactics, and strategic calculations. If you like this breakdown, hit the like button and subscribe, we do deep dives like this all the time. Got a system you want us to cover next? Drop it in the comments and I'll make it happen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.